Head coach Rob Jeter joining us. Uh, this luncheon always kicks things off. It's an exciting time of the year and uh, kind of one of many things here in this uh, month of October that kind of reminds you basketball season is here. You guys are ready to go. Yeah, you, um, you bring in the lawn chair furniture from outside. You change the cotton sheets to flannel sheets, and now you get ready for basketball. So, yeah, it's, uh, it is an exciting time. There are so many different things we can talk about with this year's team. I think the first would be just the amount of guys you have to pick from. We saw it in Italy. I think fans saw it at the inter-squad scrimmage. You guys have work to do in kind of sorting out those rotations, and you got a lot of options to pick from. Well, we do. We have uh, we have depth. Uh, everyone has at least 15 guys on their team, but I, I really believe we have quality depth. Uh, we have nine, ten guys that uh, I really believe can get on the court and, and help us be competitive. So. Um, it, it's fun. I think the best thing about it so far is that the guys have really accepted some roles. Some guys have defined some roles. We, we've defined the roles for them. They've accepted that, and, and they're having a lot of fun together. We talk about some of the different individuals uh, throughout the course of the year, of course, but uh, I know the place you're always going to start are the seniors. Uh, it's quite a mix from a guy who missed last year in his back to a guy that really hasn't played much college basketball and is brand new in, in Mitch Carter. Some guys that have a lot more experience, like an Anthony Hill. It's a diverse group, but one I know you're counting on. Yeah, it, it is, and we have guys that have been with us now four or five years um, together, and some of them only two or three if they were transfers, but we have that continuity, and Anthony Hill really anchors that, um, not only in the post, but being a guy that's been with us for a long time, and Tone Boyle, as you mentioned, Tone Boyle, is uh, he's back, he's healthy, he has an energy about him, an enthusiasm about him, um, he's running the floor hard, and of course, he's making jump shots. One other individual I just want to ask you about because he's going to play such a key role is going to be Kalen, brand new on the scene, but he's going to run the show as your point guard. How important is that to have somebody you can really lean on to, to take charge of things on the court? Well, the point guard is the coach on the floor, so it, it, it's vital to any success you're going to have as a basketball team. The, the point guard has to run the show, has to put people in the right direction, but also has to be able to communicate effectively, not only with me, my staff, but also with his teammates. Final thing, and that's the schedule. Plenty of plenty of challenges. People are excited about a home game with Marquette, Northern Iowa here. Uh, heading out to Portland, you're going to see some good teams. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good tests. You're going to learn a lot about your team in the first three weeks, I would say, of the regular season. And we're going to put on a lot of frequent flyer miles, too, um, going from one end of the country to the other. So, uh, But you're right. We do have some quality opponents. Um, it's really going to prepare us for a league that I, that I feel is, is very, very strong, the strongest I've seen in the, in the five years that I've been coaching in it. Um, and, and we do have some tests, um, not only in the Big East and the Big Ten. When you take a look at Northern Iowa and, and the others that are mentioned, Bowling Green, Western Michigan, um, Niagara, who came in and, and, and snuck out a victory here last year, uh, we have some very challenging uh, teams on our schedule. Coach, good luck. Looking forward to this season. I appreciate it. Thank you.